From the deepest, darkest crevices of the Steam Workshop, there lay unimaginable horrors. The cursed, rejected items of TF2. What the hell? The idea for this video came from when I saw this image on Twitter. This is the Madcap Scout, as I'm sure many of you are aware. It became a bit of a legend in the Steam Workshop ever since it was added in 2012. It gained its popularity because of its very unsettling and disturbing appearance. The item became a bit of a meme and it even had its own creepypasta. There's a couple of mildly terrifying videos dedicated to it and supposedly there's a mod that exists that turns all scouts wearing the Manco cap into one of these things. Amazing. And somehow, this whole thing just passed me by entirely. When I saw this tweet, it was the first time I had ever experienced the madcap. So when I saw this image, well, it filled me in equal parts with dread and curiosity. What other undiscovered monstrosities are lurking out there ready to be found? For this video, we're not going to be focusing on Madcap. If you do want to learn more about this item, then let me know in the comments below because I was able to track down the guy who created this on Twitter and he said he was willing to answer a few questions. For this video, I'm going to be sharing my top five cursed items from the workshop, excluding Madcap. And just to be clear, we're going to be focusing on specifically rejected items, items that feature this label, not just things that kind of generally look a bit rubbish. And there are plenty of creations that fit that criteria. Many of which, honestly, I thought would have been rejected, but for some reason haven't been. For example, this item, all good, bro. This one, approved. This beautiful creation, certified. This fits perfectly within the TF2 art style, no problems here. On the flip side, there are also many items that have been rejected that actually look really good, and it's not entirely clear why they don't pass Valve's requirements. Presumably, it's often down to copyright issues, or maybe they just don't like the fact that their boss's head would be used as a weapon to bludgeon people to death with. And finally, we are not going to be looking at intentionally spooky cosmetics, the kind of thing that are created for Halloween or anything like that. We're simply gonna be looking at the ones that make you feel kind of uncomfortable. The items that, well, are just cursed. So, here are my top five items that are incompatible with the Steam Workshop. Number five, the Motherly Father, added in 2011. A perfectly normal TF2 item. I apologize because you cannot unsee this, although I'm sure most of you have already seen this beautiful creation before in the past. It's actually quite well put together and pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie, but look at that face. Look at those eyes, oh dear God. This could possibly pass as a Halloween item, but it's just a bit disturbing. And just to make sure you are fully uncomfortable, the description reads, this ain't your mother's milk, oh boy. Don't worry though, the creators of this followed up with the fatherly mother in 2013 in case that wasn't enough to haunt your nightmares. I think we can all agree this item is cursed. Number 4. The Pyrophant. Added in 2013. The description reads, The fifth trump of the fortress tarot. It is an omen of catching fire in the near future. Okay, so this is not that bad in terms of execution, but something about it hurts my feelings. I think it's the extra tusks. I mean, what the flip are they doing there? Is that just me? They freak me out. I guess the concept at least could probably pass as a Halloween item. And whilst making this video, I actually ended up stumbling across a much nicer, cuter version of the same concept. Ah, that's better. And this one has been certified, but something about this original guy? Well, it's just cursed. Number three, Knife Agent 001, <laughs> I love the name, added in 2012. This is where things start to get real strange. I mean, I have so many questions. What the heck is going on with the shape of that blade? Am I missing something? Fill me in. It looks like a screwdriver mixed with a bottle opener. I don't know. And it has two extra tiny blades that the spy that creates the handle is, is holding. But in case that wasn't all twisted and creepy enough for you, well, we use a nice baby pink for the color of it. Yeah, that'll make it nice. This item is actually a weapon concept, not just a cosmetic, and the description reads, After striking the knife, Agent 001, enemy spy cannot go into stealth, disguise, and use Dead Ringer. Amplified damage to all other enemies by 10%. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that all means. The stats are kind of interesting. Does that mean enemy damage onto you is amplified by 10%? I'm guessing so, that's the downside there. And in terms of the upside, well, I guess that must mean that even on face stab, these effects are applied because, you know, when you backstab someone, well, they're just dead. So it's not as important that they can't go into stealth or disguise. 
when they're dead. I don't know. Anyway, look at it. It's just cursed. Number two, engineer exoskeleton added in 2012. Wow. Look at the state of this thing. It's some kind of NG Transformers mech monstrosity. It appears to be designed using a collage of images, with teleporters for feet by the way, and sentry guns for hands. I mean it's kind of cool in a way. I won't read the entire description, but it's here if you're interested to read it yourself. Essentially the idea for this weapon is that the NG can build a mech for himself. Once all of his buildings are at level 3, he kind of collects them up, I mean, it sounds like some kind of ultimate from Overwatch. I'm sure it wouldn't be OP at all. It would be fine. Anyway, cursed. Number one, the <laughs> Added in 2013. Oh, dear God. I'm sorry to burden your eyes with this one. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's an all-class hat, so... The description reads, it will own your head and it your... They've blanked out the word. I'll leave it up to your imagination what that said. I honestly have no idea because it doesn't make any sense. Even the profile of the guy who made this one is pretty creepy. This one certainly does madcap proud. It's undeniably cursed. Well, I hope you enjoyed my top five. There were loads more I found and here are a few notable mentions that came real close to featuring on my list. First of all, the Visionaire. Nice, very subtle, can hardly tell he's wearing them. I thought it was funny, but it wasn't quite cursed enough for my list. Next up, the Scottish Intelligence. This one is a cylinder, that's pretty much it. This was an item called the Soldier's Elite Pack, found in the Steam Workshop, a collection of terrifying drawings that should remain unseen. I'm sorry that I've brought them to the eyes of more people. It, I mean, I don't, I have no idea what's going on. I also liked the Algerian Mentality. This is another one of Madcap's creations. I have many questions about this one. But finally, and one of my favorite items that I found, we have the Pan Fury. <laughs> This thing is a masterpiece, I'm sure you will agree. It's so beautiful. You can be a demo knight, but still have the pan. It's a win-win. Anyway, go and cleanse yourself now. Go and watch something light and fluffy so you don't have nightmares. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. There's plenty of content out there and plenty of potential for more videos like this. Thank you all for your support, as always, especially to my Patreons and Twitch. For you endeavour not to pass an enough frightening kind under wires on which pigeons sit, because they can easily lower your reputation.